Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mr. Raider Kid here. And, uh, hey, uh, thank you for all the love and the comments you guys left in the last two videos. Um, the draft is over. And, uh, you know, like everybody does, everybody gives, the, you know, your team a grade. You say how they did and kind of review it. Um, so let's let's go ahead and do so. Let's do that. Let's take a look at the whole draft as a whole. What we got at, uh, on day three. And then we'll go from there. This will be a short video. Uh, I will try not to take too much of your time here, but there are some players that we pulled uh, that we uh, that we got our and are pretty pretty good some it's good football players. So, of course, round one we got Colton Miller. Um, you know we talked about that pick already. We'll touch on that again. Uh, P.J. Hall was in round two. Uh, Brandon Parker in round three, offensive tackle. Arden Key in round three. Um, in round four, uh, Nick Nelson, cornerback. And round five, Maurice Hurst, a defensive tackle, Michigan. Uh, round five, punter Johnny Townsend. Um, round six, Akeem Victor, linebacker out of Washington. And round seven, uh, Marcel Aitman, wide receiver. So we did trade. Uh, when You know, we had a bunch of six-round picks. We did trade a lot of those to move up and to move down um, and uh, and vice versa. So... I think, I think day three was a big day. It was a really, really big day for the Raiders. Um, it was a good day. Nick Nelson uh, is a solid cornerback. Uh, is a good prospect. He did lead the. He led the country in pass deflections, though he has not had an interception in his career uh, uh, from his college career in Wisconsin. So one uh, one alarming number, but also a number that you could like that you could run with. Um, so a good a good raw talent there, Nick Nelson, Maurice Hurst, Maurice Hurst, um, this right here is my favorite pick. I think of the draft, and round five, uh, this could be the steal. I want to talk about him more, so let's move on. Round five drafting a punny Johnny Townsend. Hey, uh, you know Market King is gone. You need some real young talent there. Um, from what I'm hearing and seeing, this kid can punt. He has talent, so we'll see how he does uh, with the uh, the other kid that's in the in the locker room right now. Um, round six, Akeem Victor. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things <clears throat> about this linebacker. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Damn, makes me want to restart it, but I ain't gonna restart it. Fuck it. I just woke up from a nap. I apologize. Round seven. Aitman, haven't heard too much about him. And one notable undrafted free agent that I will talk about is a is a kicker. Um, forgot his name. He came from Florida. I just seen him. Uh, Eddie something. Eddie P. Uh, he just kicked an 81 yard field goal. Um, with you know, of course no line. It's like a practice kick, but with pads on and in the wind. It was windy. It was 81 yards. So. Um, if this kid, if that kid is better than Tavecchio, man, let's go with that leg. You want to go with the strongest leg. Tavecchio has done well, but um, we did miss a few kicks last year that cost us some games. So um, let's talk about Maurice Hurst for a minute. Uh, Maurice Hurst was one of the top draft prospects uh, coming out of college on defense. Um, he was a borderline first round talent, maybe second rounder, but he has this heart condition. I guess an irregular e e k g or something like that. Key key is that a is that a letter? I don't know. E k g I don't fucking know. Um, Maurice Hurst, defensive tackle, Michigan. Um, so they limited him from doing nothing at the combine. He wasn't able to do anything at the combine, uh, which was a bummer to him. But he played with this condition all four years in Michigan. Had a stellar career as an interior defensive lineman. And he got was cleared as well. So I think he was confused by it. Um, when I heard about him, I was confused by it. Like, why are they not letting him do anything? But yet he's cleared. And he fell. And he fell far. And um, me and a, a buddy, they, they were saying that he you know, wanted to get Maurice Hurst really bad. And um, I was actually watching Infinity War when we drafted him. So... Uh, and to hear that we moved up to get him, I was really excited. To let me break it down to a simpler scale, this kid could be the best interior lineman out of this draft. He has the highest 
uh, pro football focus grade as, as far as efficiency and productivity are involved when it comes to in the middle, even higher than Vita Vea, who we all wanted, right? At some point, excuse my can if you can hear him, he's uh, crying. I'm making a video, bud. Shut up. All right. Um, sorry. Uh, so this could be a steal. Another steal could be Arden Key. Arden Key... Um, to Reggie McKenzie, John Gruden's, and even some analysts' um, evaluation of him is the best pure pass rusher in the draft. But the problem with Arden Key and why he fell down so far is that he has personal issues. Um, I think he admitted himself into rehab for marijuana. And shout out to that dude in the comment section who said you can't be addicted to weed. If this guy went to rehab for marijuana... You can you can be addicted to almost anything. I'm addicted to food. I love food. You can be addicted to anything, dude. You can be addicted to weed. I apologize to break it to you. There's nothing wrong with weed. More power to you. Smoke the green. But in the NFL, you can't. It's a stupid rule, but you can't. You can't smoke the weed in the NFL. So this kid, um, they say that that, that that played a big part of it, him at LSU. So if he gets his act right, and we've seen this before, right? I've talked about it a little bit. Alden Smith. You don't want him to become an Alden Smith. Alden Smith, his career, his life is almost done. It's pretty much over. The dude's arrested every other week. He drinks. He doesn't remember shit. Uh, Alden Smith is done. Arden Key could be a steal in this draft at third round. And Maurice Hurst could be a steal at fifth round. Probably the best pure talent on the defensive line in the draft. And we took them both, which is amazing. Um, so I know everyone was kind of upset with Colton Miller's pickup. And picking um, P.J. Hall, who maybe wasn't a brand name, but these, I mean, these are football players. And this has John Gruden written on all over. And I think at the end of the day, this is John Gruden's real first draft back. And he picked uh, he picked football players that are going to help this team. We got two tackles, hopefully tackles of the future, franchise tackles after Donald Penn is done. Uh, we added three Three good pass rushers or defensive pieces to go on the defensive line, which was one of our weaknesses. And we added a linebacker. Do we still need more help at the linebacker position? Most definitely, yes. Uh, we we touched on cornerback. We even got a punter and a receiver. Um, I feel like the cornerback room right now is solid the way it is. I think we have a lot of, um, we got some veterans. We got some young guys. We got some free agent signings that we brought in that could easily start. Uh, I'm really happy the way the secondary is turning around and the way this draft pounded out. So I know I was saying C plus, C minus on the first two days. I think the third day was a B plus, I, I want to say. And overall, I mean, you got uh, if you have to grade the class, this class, I give. I think the Raiders deserve a B minus. I could be a little giving there, but only because of the potential of some of these young players. Uh, and if all goes well, this could be great. Um, I know you're probably going to say, we drafted a punter. Why do we deserve anything over a C if we drafted a punter? Um, maybe that punter is a good one. And uh, and I think um, I think somebody else picked a punter before that pick, and Reggie was really happy that he was there. So, um, shoot, we said, it's, you know, we drafted Sebastian in the first round when he came out. So, anything can happen. But I'm really pleased the way this ended. It didn't start well, but I feel better now kind of understanding it and I think that's I think most of you might feel the same who knows um if you look at the team depth charts right now or who's on in the room especially in quarterback look at the quarterback and the safety rooms all the players that are together um you might be pleasantly surprised and you might say hey you know what after cuts we may have a really good locker room for our dbs I think linebackers is still an opportunity though for sure and uh, defensive line, I think we're going to look pretty good on paper after. Um, so I want you guys to do that. I want you guys to go look at what I'm seeing and let me know how you feel. Because I obviously, I think this uh, this could be good. This could be a, the right step in stone. I think the draft was good. I think we got, we did touch need and we got football players, good football players. So damn, I said this show was going to be a freaking short video. It was nine minutes long. But hey, that's the 2018 draft class for the Oakland Raiders. Damn, now we gotta wait for the off season shit. Um it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long remainder of the off season, but hopefully this flies by, man. I'm really excited to get going here. Um I'm gonna go watch Infinity War again because the fucking shit was amazing. 
and uh, upload this and uh, see what you guys comment. Leave your comments down below if you're new, if you like this, you like me, you just, mm, you know, ah, Raider Die Hard right here, Mr. Raider Kid. So subscribe. And um, I love reading your guys' comments and, and, and so once in a while a hater in there and kind of just giggling and telling you guys to eat them up. So that's my time. I'm Mr. Raider Kid. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Kike, comment, Kike, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out this bitch. Later, guys.